Okay, question 13. Solve the quadratic equation. Now, solving quadratic equations, there's lots of different ways to solve quadratic equations. We could factorise, we could complete the square, we could use the formula. Which one should we use? Well, on this exam paper, it's highly likely that you're going to use the formula. One, we've got a calculator available to us, and two, it says give your answer to two decimal places. That tends to mean that the answers are not nice. Okay, the formula we need to use is written in the front of our question paper, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared. Now I'm going to put b squared b in a bracket there because it's important that you, if it's a negative and you type it in your calculator, that you put the negative in the bracket. Minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, where do these letters come from, a, b and c? Well, a, b and c are the, are the numbers in front of the parts of the equation. The general equation, a, x squared plus b, x plus c equals zero. And we've got x squared plus 5x minus 3 equals zero. So clearly c is minus 3, b is plus 5, but a, hmm, it's quite tempting to think a is going to be zero, but if we remember this x squared actually means 1x squared, but we never write the 1 there, so a is in fact 1. So we have a equals 1, b equals 5, it's quite nice to have b as a positive number, if it's negative it makes things more complicated with a minus minus, and c equals minus 3. So we type those into the calculator, we've got minus b, minus 5, and we need to do one at a time, so plus, start with a plus, there's two answers to this. Still get into the habit of putting your b in a bracket on your calculator and then you shouldn't have any problems with this. Negative squares when it is a negative, so 5 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times minus 3. If you type that in as that on your calculator um, you should have no problems. And then we've got to divide by 2 times 1. To get this fraction line, uh, if you pr use the, if you've got a new calculator, you've got this uh, version of the fraction. Um, if you press that first, then you can type that top line in, and then use your arrows to get down to the bottom and type the two times one in, or just two on the bottom. Press your answer, and you will get um, the value of 0 0.54 to two decimal places. Um, and then you've got to do all you've got to do then do is replace this plus with a minus. You could just go back with your arrows to the, this question, go um, go through it and just change that plus to a minus, or you could type it all out again, and you get the answer minus 5.54. And those are your two answers. If you've got a slightly older calculator, you've got to be more careful. Um, I'd recommend working out this top line first, and then if it's nice and easy to divide this number, just write divide by two when you get the answer to the top line. Um, and then you should have no problems. There's one mark for these two answers. There's one mark for correctly substituting the values in. And uh, okay, and it, well, there's just actually two marks for correctly substituting values in. But uh, exactly. Oh, you're allowed one error. So if you get one error in this uh, formula when you put the values in then you'll get one mark. If you get it all right, that's two marks. Just writing the formula down. There we go, three marks.